Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. In today's video, we'll examine the AMC Entertainment ticker symbol AMC and the Ape series. In today's video, we will discuss why AMC is halted on modest run-ups, the cost of borrowing at 855%, and why everyone is bullish on AMC right now, among other topics. Ensure that you watch till the very end. As is customary, we will begin by examining the chart for AMC Ape. So, AMC is currently down 23.48%. Now, we've already explored in the previous video why this percentage is decreasing and how companies are attempting to bring us down in light of today's glaring void. Today, AMC dropped to a low of 388. You can see that we briefly entered the region between 389 and 377. This is, of course, a demonstration of investors in this region who are currently purchasing AMC at a discount. Obviously, understanding AMC has the potential to rise much farther than this, which explains why investors are so eager to purchase at these prices. Therefore, this is the first significant topic we must discuss. Thus, we need to see buyers enter the market at this level and break over 416 and 422, which is clearly achievable. Nevertheless, price suppression is evidently occurring currently. Before discussing the aid as a whole and why they hold us, we will examine why they hold us. Nevertheless, when we examine aid today, we are up 13.51%. And again, there is the section that is obviously a very, very plain and explicit demonstration of why and how they are lowering the price because APE is down. AB is up 13.51%, while ANC is down 22%. Now, the initial scenario was intended to be an arbitrage, therefore, a 22% decrease in AMC was to be countered with a 22% increase in APE. Firms do not want APE to rise, therefore, they are using this to drive AMC down. This week, it is highly probable that APE will reach 194 and 203. This is obviously extremely, extremely fantastic news. However, let's examine why they hold AMC and APE on modest percentage increases. This is why this is a previously displayed screenshot. In essence, the Nasdaq advises a trading halt to allow large investors to rebalance their positions against ready customers. This is something they have openly stated. The media covered this event. Hold us, so that the major players can readjust their position. They are engaging in this activity since the retail void has passed. First, it's important to realize that every time we see a hole, as we did yesterday with AMC, it's because we're placing these large companies in a situation where they'll get screwed over if they don't handle it or solve it quickly enough. As a result, this is the first time we've learned that companies employ such deceitful tactics in an attempt to defeat us. The second point though, and I believe this is the most crucial, is that they can and have employed these tactics. Yet, we recognize that whenever they are holding AMC, we are exerting pressure on them. That implies that they must double down on what they are currently screwing on. Hence, it demonstrates that we have had an effect on them, that we are having an effect on them, and that is why they are doing the things they are doing. They are employing the techniques they are employing, suppressing AMC, and holding AMC because we are exerting pressure on them. So, I believe that is a very, very wonderful thing. Hence, this is something that we must discuss. Well, they are employing these tactics. This is something I believe everyone must comprehend. Next, we will consider the AMC cost of borrowing. Hence, we can observe that the AMC's cost of borrowing is 855%. The current average cost of borrowing is 462%, while the maximum cost of borrowing is 855 points, 91%. So this again demonstrates what we were discussing earlier in relation to the hold that AMC have on these companies, which is, of course, having a big impact right now. They need to maintain. They have a substantial quantity of debt that must be repaid. At 351.2%, the number of shares that are available for borrowing is zero. It is a very high percentage for these companies to borrow these shares, but they are more than willing to pay for them. And gentlemen, in order to comprehend, Put yourself in their shoes. Why would you be willing to pay such an expensive interest rate? We must comprehend the cost of borrowing exceeding 20%. Over 30% is already considered to be excessive. 
much less 351.2%. Why would you pay such an absurdly high charge if you do not require these shares immediately? So again, we must fully comprehend this. Thus, I believe that the price of AMC is currently decreasing. You could make these arguments, but we see how we're forcing them into a corner and why they require these shares. This is why, based on what McSqueezy the cow stated, I am even more positive on AMC. And he then proceeds to mention a number of AMC events, as the AMC Series Ape is about to reverse split and convert. The next earnings call is on May 5. ANC has contacted FINRA to examine misreported facts and errors on tabloid news forums destroyed by Rampage. Amazon AMC deal rumors did not refute the likelihood, just stating that they entered into something. Visa has been covered for AMC credit card, a statewide popcorn rollout at Walmart will undoubtedly result in worldwide AMC microwave popcorn AMC blanket at theaters, pay off more debt with their Q1 revenues, etc. As the world economy is in disarray, this continues. Bond market disorder, housing disorder, and banking crisis. Hence, this is the entirety of the optimistic sentiment surrounding AMC right now. I believe that many people overlook the foundations of AMC. We must recognize that AMC will not simply publish these shorts based on its basics. Obviously, this is not the case. Yet, it can first put us in a situation where the media cannot criticize AMC and where it cannot dissuade investors from selling AMC because we are in a strong position. So it discourages people from selling AMC short, discourages people from selling AMC, and then encourages people. That encourages consumers to begin purchasing AMC as well. So, 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 so many positive developments for AMC. And I believe this is something we must recognize as occurring for us. And this is why I believe it's so crucial. Now, some other things, and this is something we've discussed in relation to what's happening now with AMC when we're forcing them, is the bad media tax that will occur. Then for AMC, we may already anticipate this AMC selling prior to its reverse split. AMC settles litigation over the conversion of eight units. After a reverse split, the balance sheet is still in a very precarious state, and AMC is trying to induce you to sell your shares. Elon Musk has stated that Tesla will go after Wall Street short sellers, certain law firms, and occasionally unscrupulous regulators who are the ultimate villains. Hence, there will be an outcry on the market. Undoubtedly, there will be market instability and occurrences. All of these factors demonstrate our status as investors and members of the community. As a result of everything that has transpired, AMC are in a very advantageous position for what is about to occur. Certainly, there are problems inside it. There will be disadvantages associated with these advantages, but we are still in a good position overall. And again, we are seeing firms panicking, which is why the RSI is at such a low level and why they are holding AMC when we're only a few minutes, and this is only two to three minutes into the market because they do not want AMC to rip against them. ANC's increase of 8% was blocked, although its decrease of 20% was not. And again, when we comprehend the underlying cause, we can realize how corrupt it truly is. Thank you for watching this video, gentlemen. I'll catch up with you all next time.